Hey everyone, it's Janome Man, aka Michael Smith, and I'm here at the Janome Sewing and Learning Center to do this uh, little threading video on the fabulous Janome 5300. I've had many requests for little tips and tricks to make threading a little easier, uh, less uh, trouble. <laughs> so uh, just some uh, quick little tips that you can do really on any Janome machine. Uh, now the first thing I like to do when I have uh, my thread on the holder here is that I wind off a length of thread uh, you know, longer than I think I need, a good probably foot or, you know, foot and a half, whichever. And the reason I do that is because as I come around here to the, the back, which is guide number one, again, double check your instruction manual for proper threading technique. All of our machines will go through step by step on how to thread your machine. And the nice thing is the machines here, they have the, uh, here I've got, you know, guide number one, guide number two, guide number three. So most of the machines have these numbers on. It. So it literally is thread by number. Uh, but again, always consult your manual. But as I come uh, around here to guide number one, then I put my thread through that and I hold it with my index finger here. So then I've got a little bit of tension in my left hand here. So as I come down through my uh, thread tension discs here, we want to make sure that one, our presser foot is up. That means that these tension discs are going to be open. Another thing we can do right off the top is make sure our needle is in the highest position. Now, if you have the fabulous 5300, for example, a lot of our machines have this needle down, needle up position, which will bring the needle to the highest position and specifically expose that take-up lever. If your machine does not have a needle up and down, just make sure to rotate the flywheel so the needle is at the highest position and again that you see that take-up lever. So as I bring the thread down through the thread tension guide here and then through and around guide number three, I'm coming up to that take-up lever. So I'm threading from the back to front and I'm pulling, making sure that that thread is through all the way through that guide of the take-up lever. And again, I've got the index finger of my right hand holding the thread uh, so no more thread is coming off that spool. So again, I've got a little bit of tension here with holding the thread in my left hand. As I come down to then guide number five, and I'm going right in front of the needle clamp screw. Ooh, I'll just adjust this for you. I don't want to make anyone dizzy. <laughs> uh, right above where your needle attaches. Here, using that screw, that's how you hold your needle in, there is a guide right above that, uh, right around that screw, and I'm going to pull the thread all the way over to the left. It has to go all the way to the left. Now, again, consult your instruction manual. Some of the machines have where they thread from the left to the right, for example. So consult your manual and make sure whatever uh, orientation this guide is that the thread is all the way over to one side or the other. Now, in this case, the 5300's case, I position the thread all the way over to the left, and then I'm gonna bring it up through this jaw that is right behind thread guide number seven. So this little jaw here is what's going to hold our thread in place. So we need to pull that thread all the way into the jaw and then up and over thread guide number seven. Now at the side of, I believe, almost every Janome machine is a side thread cutter. Now did you know from back to front is a thread cutter, but from front to back it's a thread holder. So I'm just going to go from front to back to hold my thread up there out of the way. And again, that also helps hold it with a little bit of tension. Now, once we have our thread hung up here at the side thread holder, we're then going to drop the presser foot before we use the built-in needle threader if your machine has one. Then when one fell swoop, we're going to engage that needle threader. And then there, there's that beautiful loop we all look for at the back to pull your thread through, raise up your foot, bring your thread under your foot, and away you go. You're ready to sew. So follow those little tips and tricks and you'll have no trouble. Happy sewing.